Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Mark Fortin, uh, North American Category Manager. So I work with our pricing teams on all products in North America, trying to understand our positions, understanding what products we're going to sell in what regions. Uh, excited to talk to you guys today about where we're at going into season because it is a good news story across the board. Next slide, please, Meg. <clears throat> so I, well, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time going through some of the um, pieces of the why the supply chain has been in, in kind of turmoil over the last 12 months. You guys have heard enough about that from other avenues and Luis has done a good job of talking to it in, in his previous slides as well. But I mean, it's well reported that there are some supply chain challenges in ag and um, especially with the, the crop protection business. You know, you had the um, the for force majeure event that happened a few weeks ago. You had um, a hurricane that happened in early October. You had um, Chinese energy policy that affected the cost of raw materials earlier than that. So same with the uh, commodity side of the business. This bull market has been climbing steadily for 12 months. It hasn't just been one event. It has been a kind of a conjunction of events. Next slide, please. What I'm going to spend a little bit more time on is talking about what FBN is doing and how it's different from other retailers and how that has set us up really well going into the 22 growing season. So ironically enough, the, the reason why we are well set up this year is because we were actually were kind of excluded from participating in the market. We didn't have access to a lot of the products that you sell, you bought on farm four or five years ago. So we went out and instead of being just a retailer, we all had to pivot and become also um, technically a ma manufacturer. So in order to have access and freedom to operate and, and to be able to impact the price that you pay on farm, we had to go further back into the supply chain. We couldn't just buy from manufacturers and build efficiencies with our website and with our logistics systems. We actually had to go a little bit further upstream um, to capture some of those wins. So what we've had to do is, is get registrations, right? Which is a very expensive process that we invested heavily into for our FBN members. We then uh, go all over the world and secure the products, we either formulate in country or import finished goods. This kind of is a copy paste for the US and the Canadian business. This is how we've kind of decided to go to market going forward. We still do um, buy some branded products and sell them on the store more, more in the US than in Canada and are open to doing that. It's just um, for us, this was a hedge against the freedom to operate. It happened to be a fantastic um, opportunity for us when there were supply disruptions because we controlled the entire supply chain. Um, mm -hmm. So although that presented its fair share of challenges, especially this year, having full visibility to what we could promise you and it was in our control um, was very, very worthwhile. Next slide, please. So you guys are probably wondering with all of the news on Glyphosate, you know, how FBN is doing and, and how you can feel going into season, um, you know, as an FBN member or an FBN community builder um, across both geographies in US and Canada, um, we are good to go on Glyphosate. We've got a tremendous amount of supply on hand, ready to sell, ready to ship. We are continually producing in both countries and right now feeling like um, we have never gone into a spring season uh, this well positioned. Important caveat is that, relatively speaking, uh, FBN's market share is still um, small. And so while we are in a great position to supply our members and our you know, expected growth rate, when there is a market shortage and we take on a lot more business than, than we have in the past, it does not mean that we have an infinite supply of, of glyphosate. I mean, it's still a relatively small portion of the market. So you'll see that um, you know, as we kind of go through this, um, you'll see that it's a good position, but it's not, not non-ending. Next slide, please. The glufosinate business is a little bit similar to the glyphosate business. We've had supply chain challenges that go back, you know, six to eight months. Uh, in Canada and the U.S., we both in both countries have supply position, but um, probably not enough to meet the market. Uh, shortages. So uh, still green lights, still ready to order, but this is not something that's going to stay in our warehouse and, and be ready to ship till the last minute in season. And so if you have supply chain issues with your growers, with your neighbors uh, on glufosinate, FBN is here today for that, that business and we'll do our best to, to, keep, to keep up with that, but we don't have an infinite supply of glufosinate. Next slide, please. So this list is a, um, a caution flag. Um, when we look at our position in the market, we look at a relative market share, we look at some of the impacts that we've seen come out uh, you know, in the market. 
these are the ones where we feel like there's going to be not just shortages in the industry, but that also FBN is not likely to be able to supply the entirety of the shortage. Um, the Paraquat business, uh, anyone in the south uh, or someone that uses it as a desiccant is going to notice that Paraquat has gone up in price fairly drastically year over year. Um, this market is uh, one that we participate in quite heavily. We have a, a fairly large market share, um, but our costs went up exponentially. So we chose to, to just kind of back out a little bit on Paraquat and feel like we have enough to supply our existing members, um, but this market shortage is going to be felt, uh, especially later on in the year into the June-July timeframe. Clethodim, uh, same kind of story. We feel quite good about our Clethodim position. Um, this is one we formulate under the Willowood um, brand in the US and under the FBN brand in Canada. Uh, on both sides of the border, um, you know, we have some clethodim available to sell, but it's it's been tight to market, especially with the technical coming out of China. Across the board here, you can kind of see that um, there's there's a number of actives in this list, but we are not sold out today. You can still go onto the store and buy these products, and the date that you'll see that it's available is the date we have a pretty good line of sight on understanding when it'll be delivered to your door. Here we'll go through kind of how that gets captured you know, what are the promises that, that we make and how, what those dates represent. Um, so we won't go into all of these in detail, but these are the ones where you should probably keep an eye out. And if you do have concerns about getting it from either an existing supplier that you've already bought from, or that uh, you don't have these products purchased yet, whether it's through us or through somebody else, these are products you might want to consider getting on farm. On the Canadian side, um, it's actually a much shorter list. Um, so we have two products where we feel uh, we are going to be, you know, maybe a little bit tight throughout the year and that we might not make it through the whole year. Clodinifop and fluoroxapir are, um, you know, two in-crop um, cereal chemistries that we feel we will sell out this year. Um, it's been tight to market, the price has been climbing and it's been tough to get anything uh, from our suppliers that in the volumes that we want. The um, This is new for Canada. Um, this will be my fourth season with FBN, um, you know, in the Canadian spring. And we've had product shortages, um, you know, almost every year before that. We've done a much better job this year securing our product earlier, getting it on, on uh, in our warehouses much earlier than we have in prior years, understanding the supply chain challenges from last year really made us you know commit to getting all of this stuff in early so on all of your other in crops your florazolam your 24d your mcpa um your clethodim your quizolifop all of those actives that are kind of core to the fbn business we are very well positioned on and feel very confident in our supply and are looking forward to serve both the existing and new members in canada with that supply position <laughs> 